<laughs> Robin. We're looking at the face on Mars. I was kind of hoping it was real. It's not real. I know it's not. not there aren't Martians. No, 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 no. But there was supposed to be. What is the uh, the the thing that looks like a a a, a, a man made or person or creature made tube? There's something on there that looks like a glass tube. What? Like a long tunnel or something that was constructed. A water slide. One, kind of like a slinky. A slinky. Richard Hoagland is such an asshole. He's the guy that's obsessed with this fucking Sedonia thing. Oh yeah. But it really has been proven to be fucking mountains. I almost said fake. Mountains. Yeah, They're fake. as real as you can get. Well, the uh, yeah, the shadows and the the way that the angle of the photo was taken made it look like a face on Mars. And then when you look at it from different angles and lighting, it's just you realize mountain. it's just mountains. It's a little mountain chain. Did you see the sunset on Mars? I did not, no. It came out yesterday. It's Is really, it nice? It's really nice. It looks cool, huh? It's just creepy because it's so crystal clear. And it's, it's, it looks like the sun looks like the sun's setting in a desert. But it's Mars. How the fuck do they get that? It's pretty cool. I was watching part of Colin's special last night. Oh my god. Like the so last half hour. Fucking great. Is that I the, was watching that and laughing. Is that man. the sunset on Mars? Well, I'm sure there's a ton of these because we do have equipment that's there. That is so, so wow. weird. That's one, of them. that's one of the rovers took that, I guess. Huh? We, I thought he was oh, fired. Oh. Somebody, oh. somebody so lived there. Do you think? <laughs> oh, at one time. Doubt. Do you think it's a planet on its there, way? That's the one I saw. Look how yeah. fucked up that is. The sun's pretty far. The sun's far away, man. Well, it's a little further away, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't breathe on Mars, right? There's no atmosphere. Or is it a little closer? Mm -hmm. There's an atmosphere, have to but I forget how that yeah. works. Yeah. you got to put your hand in the... And the thing, ah, because that's what Watto said. But air. first, you have to open your mind. <laughs> open your mind. I like how Jimmy Stu. I, have, I don't think Jimmy's seen Total Recall. <laughs> and no. Total Recall? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> I'll get your ass to Mars. Can we play our Total Recalling song? Total Recalling. Colin. <laughs> that picture looks fucking cool as shit, man. Which one? That? That's amazing. It is amazing. Well, is Mars closer or farther? Yes. It's, <clears throat> That's right. It, from the sun? Yeah. Farther. By one, right? By one. We had to give up on that planet and move forward. Yeah, Mars ain't shit. We, there's, Mars ain't shit, man. There was some shit on these planets. Let's. You think that, like, is going out, and that's that's the one that's, like, was yeah. Earth, and now we're Earth, like, yeah. you know, and then and then Venus will step up. Laugh if you will. We came from somewhere else. Well, you know, they Laugh said Laugh if you will. I think Neptune and Uranus, they say... Uranus? Yes, yeah, switched... Uh, that's how we say that now? Yes. What happened way. to Uranus? I don't know. It now kids can't make the jokes. Over the years. Uranus? Yes. Uranus. They really say Uranus? Uranus, Uranus. 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 yes. Uranus. And there was... They're uh, just sick of 12-year-olds yeah. making fucking jokes. They'd Uranus. rather make it a piss joke than an asshole joke. That's okay. what happened. Uranus. Is, uh, they, they switched orbits. I forget. I was watching. This is... They, they just know shit. That they switched a couple of the planets switched orbits probably Ooh. because of collisions with meteors and stuff. That sounds very scary. Yeah. Yeah. But it's they fucking scary switched. Out there. It's so far away. How far though. are our voices right now? You think? I'm sorry. Let From what? Our From voices when, are way out there now. When we first what broadcast? Yeah. I think. From Hitler was like the first. Was a huge first video broadcast or no? Speed of. Uh, no, I'm talking yeah. about us. Oh, like our like voices. when we now what are you well, like when you're a kid. Say you're nine years old with a walkie-talkie. Does that count? No, no. Right. right now. Oh, like how far? Wait, I'll tell you. Our satellite. There's a satellite, right, with the Sirius XM. Yeah. So isn't our voices way up there right now? Speed to come light. back down here. Speed of light. What year did you start together? Ninety four. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Seventeen years of speed of light. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Seventeen okay. years of speed of light. That's where oh, our voices well. are right now. Yeah. Wow. And then you just say where. What 102 trillion miles is where our voices are right now from 94. <laughs> Jimmy's lying. <laughs> it was too fast. I would have believed you if you spent a little more time. But we've done these math problems previously, and you've never gotten one that fast. I challenge anybody mm. to correct my math. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? There are structures on the moon That's as we do the math wrong. problem. Type in John Lear. Do you know John Lear? Yes, his, I do. At his moon structures? I interviewed him. <laughs> <laughs> we just go home. <laughs> <laughs> just... John Lear. Moon structures into YouTube. 102 trillion miles your voices since 94 no way. have gone. Sure. I'm looking for John Lear, I said. Yeah, and don't make me come over there for you too, tough guy. He makes jets. 
Oh, Learjet. It's very good. Oh, John Lear. I met a football player. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's Moon, Moon Secrets, Secrets Revealed. revealed. Can we put this on so our John ass? McCain. Oh, man, isn't that great? We you could. know, we can see you going around while they're mining the moon. This is seven minutes. Going yeah, to seven. Mars. Going I'm to other already. planets. Jesus. Billions of dollars. To All right, yeah, exactly. Billions, billions of dollars. Billions and billions. That's why is he supposedly have like uh, that was my Carl Sagan moon thank bases you. Thank or you. something uh, structures on the moon. There's no structures on the moon. No one lived there. No one yes. did anything. We we went there. With why wouldn't we be there? We were there. We put things and, there. Yeah, but they were there before us. Nah, I think we just put shit there, and there's nothing there but craters. There was other stuff. Light travels. Yeah, a hundred and. 80,000 miles a second, I believe. Right. So I believe a light year is 6 trillion years. I've done the math or I've read it. So 17 times 6 is 102 you really trillion had the, miles. You had the, the math. So. so what is 102 trillion miles away from us? Your what voice planet? is... Because you're, uh, but I want to know. I want to know how far it is. Like I can't wrap my mind around that. I got to know if we're swinging. Well, I'll around. tell you what. You've passed in 17 light years. Yeah. All you need is the number 17. You've passed, I believe, Alpha and Proxima Centauri, um, who are the nearest stars. I forget which one is the nearest one. So oh, yeah. So we've passed some stars and shit. 4.2 light years, I think, is the is the nice. nearest star. So they're right now. They're hearing, "Hey, Master Peter." <laughs> yeah. No, they've heard that 13 years ago. Oh, Old hat to Jesus. them. They're they're pests on fucking Proxima Centauri. Wow. So why don't we do this? Where's it, Alpha? Mm. For the people. Uh, 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 we apologize. Remember 17 years ago? Hey, Master Bader. Yeah, yeah, We're sorry yeah. for that. We're sorry for that. Yeah. That way, in, in 17 years, years they're going to go like, oh, we, we get it. Right now, on the on the planet Murfnask, <laughs> someone is going, who's OJ and what did he do? And someone else is going, he's a you-know-what. And, uh, and the guy's going, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the planet Murfnask. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're saying it wrong. You sound stupid oh, when you say it. Oh, sorry. It's planet Murph. <laughs> <laughs> you're not straining the left side of your neck. You're doing it wrong. Murph. No, you're not turning your head. You're going Murph. That's a mockery. Oh. It's planet Murph. All right. Murph. That's as good as you're going to do it. You just can't speak Murph. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Is Japan really sinking? What? No, they're radioactive. Yeah. And are they sinking? How could they sink? The, Japan is sinking at a rate of two feet a year. <laughs> you just don't know what to believe. I mean, Why would I make that up? <laughs> because you just make oh, things up. Fair enough, I did. <laughs> I should point not fuck that up, though. I don't know. It's more than two feet now, right? Some places, yeah. Is it? Kiss in studio working on a new album. Oh, wow. oh, God. Arnold Schwarzenegger says he said he's not young anymore. Oh, the governor. <laughs> <laughs> Why, did he, does, does he regret wasting his time uh, as the governor and, and not making more movies? And I don't know. I don't enjoying know. his couldn't. life. Uh, well, oh, he enjoys he life. He could have squeaked out a couple more action flicks. He'll do other movies now. He'll do fucking dramas where he'll play the oh. guy. <laughs> Michu Kaku, check the it out. Finally. Oh, really? God, I have the worst timing ever with that one. The day before the tsunamis, we fucking hung up on that motherfucker. And then he did every TV show after that. Yeah, but what was he really saying? We didn't know. You know, the, oh, by the way, I saw him on a special on Discovery or something where he was talking. He was doing physics calculations because they're talking, as we all know. I'll be very quick. Yeah. I'll, I'll we all know that the theory of relativity, Einstein and quantum mechanics mm -hmm. has trouble marrying. That's the problem is, right. is, 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 is quantum mechanics can't figure gravity and, and, and theory of relativity can't figure like little teeny, teeny, teeny things. So they're trying to marry it through string theory. Old hat, we all know. But I saw him doing quantum uh, physics, uh, like calculations where he was saying that the problem with Einstein's theory of relativity is it breaks down. It's like the, it comes to infinity times infinity. And woo, was he a smart fuck when didn't, he was doing that shit? Didn't figure that into it. Go ahead. Uh, See, that's the answer right there. Anthony writes x two c equals two four point one times z in parentheses, yeah. which means if you have two cookie people <laughs> and one is chocolate, Anthony will not eat it. Right. That's what I mean. Boy, I had a great idea for a joke. <laughs> A 
Yes. <laughs> Let's say hi to Dr. Sorry. Michu. Kaku. Oh, really? Yes. Sir. Boys, good morning. How are you today? <laughs> Hello, Dr. Wow, that's, Kako. That's spot on. Yeah. <laughs> good morning, boys. You're doing, the, you're doing the math wrong. I hate to tell you this. Really? Okay, okay go ahead. Yeah, un unfortunately, you're doing this as if your voices were light, which is not correct. You're actually speaking in sound waves. So hey. think of it as if you were eating a hamburger, boys. Does it radio travel at the no. speed of light? No, we're talking about the signal, not the actual acoustic sound, you dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking space is a vacuum. Space is a vacuum. Sound doesn't travel through it, idiot. Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's a giant hoover. It does not approach the speed of sound. Go back to your hamburger or better yet, a tsunami. Let me talk to you about a tsunami. Oh, wait, you hung up on me then, did you? No, we're right here. Oh, we wish, you're, oh. you're wishing we hung up on is, you. Is fucking Dr. Oh, yeah. Steve around? I don't know why I'm talking about Dr. Steve. Dr. Like he's a Steve. fucking dock worker. He's not around at 956. <laughs> Dr. He's Steve. Not around oh, that's at right. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the, Reds, uh, the Reds pitcher there, Mike Leak, arrested for stealing six shirts worth just under 60 bucks from Macy's. What do you think this what? is about? Uh, Kelly Leak? I, I heard he made about a half million last year yeah. pitching, and he's stealing six shirts he's probably, from Macy's. He's probably researching for a role. Yeah, that's true. That's the defense you use there. Some people just like stealing shit. It's fun to Six them. shirts worth 60 bucks total? It's fun. What is this about? Isn't stealing, wasn't it fun what when you were a kid? I have a silly hat on TV. Oh my. <laughs> he's, what, Jimmy, look at the guy's silly hat. Oh, he's a beekeeper? Yeah, but... Look at yeah, that. what's with his hat? Um, I don't know. He's, he doesn't know if he wants to handle bees or fucking be Sandy Duncan. <laughs> he really it's is an, an idiot. He's an old guy with glasses and a mustache, and he has a big... A giant woman's floppy hat. <laughs> yes. That looks delicious. Honey? By the way, I want to go to this guy's hunt. I was watching YouTube videos. This guy fucking rules. He's a southern guy, and he stutters a little in Georgia. Oh, does he fucking... He knows bees. So what are we going to do? Does he know ants? <laughs> <laughs> Southern guy. It's funny. Um, <laughs> I forget his name. I tweeted. I was watching his fucking videos yesterday on YouTube, man. He just on how to feed honeybees. He, he little he little jars. He was really a weird dude. Why is yeah, this, is this it guy's good? saving bees in urban areas. That's Why? his whole job. He just goes and gets bees from urban areas. Because blacks are scared of them. Oh. Well, right. He isn't scared of Roberta. bees. Well, I'll tell you who's not scared of bees. If I could find this guy's fucking... Uh, what his name is? He is not at all scared of bees. You see the guy that the, the guys that take out the big bee trays out of their hives with no gloves. Yes, this or guy's anything. one of them. And he does it with no gloves, and then they just turn it around like, yeah, there it is. Dude, there's fucking. He has these jars upside down with like sugar water in them, and the honeybees are feeding. Mm. He's like pushing things around, knocking the bees. It, it, no gloves. What? How? Why don't they get stung? If I even fucking get near a bee, it will sting me. Yeah, absolutely. And I know it. If a fucking if if Jeez. a fucking bee lands on my soda, I, I'm I'm gonna throw the soda and get bit. You ever get uh, completely paranoid that a soda uh, that you left out it? had a, a yes. bee flew yeah. in it and that you're gonna swallow it and it's gonna sting your throat inside? Yes. I do all the time. Um, fuck. My I'm, biggest fear ever. God damn it! I can't find this guy's name, but I love him. Oh. Oh, sugar. Oh, he's a bee guy. Yeah, his name is, uh... <coughs> oh... Stinger McGillicuddy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Would it be? I don't know his name. I, I apologize. Oh, I'm letting Jimmy. everybody down. Let me down personally. <laughs> this this guy, Scott in Lafayette, Lafayette, writes, Honeybee don't care. Honeybee don't give a shit. Honeybee, honeybee. <laughs> What was it? The honey, honey badger? Honey don't give a shit. Who didn't badger. see the honey badger? You saw honey, honey badger. badger. Right, Jimmy? I did not. What is that? You didn't honey see badger. the honey badger. Uh -uh. Honey badger rules. Fucking rules. Honey badger. This guy? <clears throat> you ever see honey badger? No, there's a guy with a fucking hat on. This guy doesn't play games. He's distracted. He doesn't wear fucking so, hats. So we're not going to play the honey badger for him. No, I'm so, I, I'm just trying to find... Here's a hockey guy. Fucking takes 23 stitches, stitches and then scores. Snitches get stitches. Look at the fucking, his face is wrecked. And he, what, are you go back in the game, Travis? You know this story? Where did he get the stitches? From playing. I don't know this Oh, story. that had a hurt. That's going to leave a mark. Oh, here he is. John Pluta. P-L-U-T-A. 
That's he's, a dumb name. He stutters a little. Does he? Uh, 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 yeah, he's a probably fucking, from being stung so much. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> his larynx. His he's always tongue talking. in his throat. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. He's always talking around bees. <laughs> Plutta? P L U T A. Plutta? Yeah. What a horrible last name. It's man. atrocious. I'm John Pluto. But he's trying to catch a swarm with a bucket. He's the fucking best. What balls of steel. Let's go do some bee shit with him. Dude, Let's I, I want to one time go around one of these. I want to go around would a you allow? Bee. Would you allow uh, the a beard of bees? Would you allow that? Like, no. The bee beard. You ever see that when they put some kind of shit? They put that fucking pheromone shit no, on your... No, it's the queen. They put the queen, the queen in a your... fucking box on your chin. So everybody oh. surrounds the queen. But what happens That's... when you pull the queen away? Don't, don't they get a little mad? They smoke them. Yeah. That's... But I, uh... They smoke them. Yeah, it's some kind of smoky thing. It smoke. Them smoke me mellows Dude, them. Please do a bee beard for the radio oh, show. Oh, my bee be God. No. You have a better <laughs> chance. I literally would do a fucking... Would do a Magic Johnson blood beard before <laughs> I would do a fucking bee beard. Please. N under no circumstances. <laughs> but I do want to go around honeybees like a hive... Because you're really I, not going to get stung. Yes, you are. Honeybees? No, you won't. You right. will. Dr. Steve is texting me. Let me just see if I'm correct. Dr. Steve. Oh, Dr. Steve's on the line. He can answer the bee question. What? Well, let's have Dr. Yes. Steve answer the bee question. In 60 seconds. <laughs> uh, Dr. Steve, you're on the show. Hello, boy. Hi, Hello, buddy. Dr. Steve. <laughs> I'm just looking at this website on how to overcome the fear of being stung when beekeeping. And their answer is, uh, beekeepers get stung, but these injuries are a result of carelessness. You might be rushing, taking shortcuts, or being inattentive to their moods. So that's, that's the secret, is being attentive to the bees' moods, apparently. Uh, these guys, did you hang up on me already? Rob, bitch, rock, rock, bitch, bitch, rock, bitch, 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 bitch